It's Monday, July 13th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When the Tank is Empty, and our scripture is Psalm 142. I cry out to the Lord, I plead for the Lord's mercy. I pour out my complaints before Him and tell Him all my troubles. When I'm overwhelmed, you alone know the way I should turn. Wherever I go, my enemies have set traps for me. I look for someone to come and help me, but no one gives me a passing thought. No one will help me. No one cares a bit what happens to me. Then I pray to you, O Lord. I say, you are my place of refuge. You are all I really want in life. Hear my cry, for I am very low. Rescue me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring me out of prison so I can thank you. The godly will crowd around me, for you are good to me. King David was looking back on the time before he was king, and the reigning king, Saul, who was bordering on psychotic at the time, was chasing him all over Israel to stamp out the decree that God had made through the prophet Samuel that David would be the one to replace Saul on the throne. It was a king and his army, the most powerful army on earth, against one young man who had taken to hiding in caves and pretending to be a lunatic to avoid being captured and executed. In the words of the Verizon guy, David is praying and cries out to God, I'm low, can you hear me now? Considering the circumstances, to say that David was low or severely depressed and that he was out of options with an empty tank just seems a little understated. The situation was as critical as it gets. J.D. Walt writes a devotional I've been reading for a while now, and in a recent post he shares about stumbling points in faith. In his concluding prayer, he states it clearly that when it comes to his faith, there are gaps. Listen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I confess it with joy. Jesus is Lord. I want to meet it with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. There are gaps. Come Holy Spirit, fill in the gaps of my own character and maturity. Thank you for grace in the meantime. Train me to be so gracious with others, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I don't know many people who won't admit to the dry times when gaps in our faith bring us low. Let's face it, the tank, if not attended to, gets empty and we get sidelined, unable to move forward. We feel depleted, deleted, and halted in our spiritual and emotional life. Sometimes it may be because the world really is at odds with us and we're up against it. At other times, perhaps most times, it's just that we haven't taken sufficient self-care to keep the tank refueled. Either way, being down and out is not fun. Waiting by the side of the road, empty gas can in hand, on the chance some kind Samaritan will give you a ride to the gas station, is not my idea of a fine way to spend a Saturday afternoon. When your tank is empty, the tendency is to hide how foolish you were in running out of gas. When a Christian spiritual tank runs low because of self-inflicted sins, or just a lack of attention to keeping the worship tank full, sometimes the game plan gets tossed. Worship, prayer, ministry, fellowship with other believers, and being in the place where, as David put it, the godly will crowd around me, is put aside in favor of staying in our four walls to sulk, lick wounds, and generally wallow in our misery. Do you recall that feeling you had one time or a thousand times when it was Sunday and you just weren't feeling it? You just didn't want to go to church, but the habit took over and you went anyway. Do you recall how you felt so much better that afternoon? That's what happens when you make a decision that the momentary gap in your faith is not going to rule that day. And God's Spirit gathers the godly around you and focus returns and your heart is glad. Let's pray together. Father, our gaps are too real and too strong sometimes. Come, fill those gaps with the balm of Gilead. Heal our stripes and make us whole so we can serve and honor your name. 
for you today. Nobody schedules a gap time. That stuff is manufactured as a surprise attack in the pit of hell and shows up when you least expect it. The preventative is to keep the tank full of worship, praise, service, sacrifice, and discipleship. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.